Hey everyone, KC Steve here. I'm at a site here uh, that I had found probably a couple years ago. Um, Civil War site. This this camp was a uh, actually it was multiple camps at various locations along the hilltops. Uh, my research indicated an old town just east of here. That's what I consider as a stillborn town. It really didn't take off, but yet it was mentioned in the in the in the records. Uh, but the main important thing that I really took out of it was the uh, the military. Uh, came down in this general location at this one town that had a well, uh, a live spring. So it was a great place for a, a camp to get fresh water for the horses. Uh, the guys could refill their canteens and whatnot. See what comes up. A lot of times you find some neat uh, gun parts or uh, watering bit, uh, horse equipment, that sort of thing. So. Uh, Come along with me and let's see what we can dig up. Right in the plug. I see it right there. Nice round ball. Yeah, that's a good, good find. Starting out the morning. Okay. It's about 8:30 in the morning, and it's it's already getting up close to 90. Feels like it. It's a two-piece. What kind? Looks like a general s service. I'll clean it up and let you all see. It's got the early back mark, a depressed channel. Raised marks in a depressed channel. It's an eagle button probably general service but I'm gonna let you guys listen to what I hear and there's a good signal right up here in amongst all the iron and this is what I have to listen to very carefully to be able to pick the good targets out of all this iron there's constant chatter that's iron all that low grunt is a uh, iron but we're going to get right up here well that's a pretty obvious but there's a little grunt to it so as I'm walking I could hear the constant low grunt and then the high tone right there. Now it can still be iron, but uh, that's the scratchy, iffy signals that I will always dig in a camp. I could tell there's some iron right next to it. The machine is trying to tell me there's brass right over here, but there's an iron, possibly a square nail that's kind of uh, masking it. Then again, it might all be iron. I don't know. Let's find out what it is. Not in the plug. We still get a... Uh, a high tone one way and then a low tone the other. 
But at the high VDI number, it could still be iron. But these are the signals I will always dig. Well, there's something definite. But see, I could hear iron down there, but off to the side, there's definitely something brass or a good target worth digging right there. There it is. Looks like a cuff size button. Now that could have been a uh, easily a one dollar gold coin in my opinion. So here looks like a two piece button. I have found um, cuff size general service buttons in this area. But in my opinion, that's the size of a $1 gold coin. And in around all that iron, if I could pull a nice uh, coin out, it's, it's worth it all. There you go. A little iffy signal. Um, cut the plug out and something popped on the side of the hole right here looks about the size of a half dime let's take a closer look right here like I said it could have been a gold coin but uh, I think I got me a half cent let's see what it is Definitely silver. Uh, I see rigid, rigid edges. It's something right here. Looks like some kind of a I don't know if this is a little handle for our drawer. See that right there? Looks like a uh, some kind of a snaffle bit. These are early. I find these quite often. That is really neat. Either a watering bit or a snaffle bit. Like a large lead bullet. cut it and made little checkers out of it. Pretty cool.